In favor of the ID3 hatchback, Volkswagen brought the ID4 for the American market for one reason, space. And there's a lot We don't need to argue about the fact that Tesla is the most valuable car company in the world right now, right? Tesla is leading the vehicle race because of its high-powered battery tech. For more than a decade, the company has been designing battery-powered vehicles from the ground up and using software to make the batteries more efficient. But did you know that Volkswagen might actually have a bigger future than Tesla? Join us to see how Volkswagen plans to overthrow Tesla. Volkswagen has been clear about its goal of leading in electrification, and at a livestream Power Day event, the automaker revealed the latest part of its plan to do so, building six new battery factories across Europe. The plants, VW says, will be in operation by 2030 and will each have a capacity of 40 gigawatt hours. For comparison, Tesla claims that its Nevada Gigafactory has an annualized 35 gigawatt hour rate. Volkswagen said it is also developing a way to recycle nearly all of its battery components and to cut the price of batteries by 30 to 50 percent. At the event, Volkswagen also said that it plans to invest in its charging networks around the world including building another 1,100 Electrify America fast chargers in North America in 2021, along with increasing the number of charging stations from 560 to 800. In Europe, Volkswagen said it is going to increase the number of chargers it operates by five times to 18,000 total chargers. It also plans a major expansion in China. The building of battery factories and part of VW's plan to gain more control over its supply chain. The first VW Gigafactory to reach the 40-watt gigawatt capacity is in Sweden and will be operated alongside Northvolt, a battery developer. The second is going to be in Germany and operated by Volkswagen itself. The automaker is looking for partners for the other four factories, including one to be located in Eastern Europe and one in France or Spain. We are now systematically integrating additional stages in the value chain. We secure a long-term pole position in the race for the best battery, Chief Executive Herbert Day said. The car maker aims to be at least double its share of deliveries that are fully electric this year, which could bring it within striking distance to Tesla's EV sales. After years of trailing Tesla, VW's ID3 hatchback and the Porsche Taycan, based on dedicated underpinnings, have stacked up well. VW is already the top EV seller in Europe. We assume that EV market share shifts in Europe were a function of the onset of carbon dioxide regulations and subsidies. With Tesla also tight on inventory, given the Fremont factory in California shutdown, wrote Dan Levy, an analyst at Credit Issue in a recent research report that in Europe VW climbed to the leading position in the all-electric car market in 2020, with a 24% market share, up from 13% in the prior year, while Tesla's comparative share in Europe plunged from 29% in 2019 to 13% last year. David Trainer, CEO of New Constructs, an investment research firm in Nashville, says VW has at least one big advantage over Tesla, scale. He points out that since VW already makes more cars, including internal combustion engine vehicles, in a month than Tesla does in a year, it can easily overtake Tesla as the world's largest EV maker. Tesla has yet to prove it can produce vehicles anywhere near the scale of the incumbents, who have proven they can switch their internal combustion engine production capacity over to make EVs. Further, the incumbents have a large cost advantage because they've already built and paid for their production factories, while Tesla still has to build their factories, he says. It's not that the VW plans to make more batteries. It also plans to make cheaper batteries. The German car giant says that it will make a unified battery cell design which can be used across all of the models that it makes. That in and of itself will bring down costs, but so too will a greater concentration on recycling. VW expects that it can recycle and reuse as much as 95% of each battery, which should significantly bring down production costs. We will use our economies of scale to the benefit of our customers when it comes to the battery too. On average, we will drive down the cost of battery systems to significantly below $100 per kilowatt hour. This will finally make e-mobility affordable and the dominant drive technology, said Thomas Schmall, VW's board member for technology. Do you think Volkswagen can actually overthrow Tesla? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.